Hello, uh, well past time for an update, I think. So uh, yeah, here we go. Um, obviously, uh, yeah, this month's War Gamers Anonymous challenge was based around uh, light, light troops, scouts, uh, which fit in very nicely with what I'm doing. Um, as you can probably see in the last couple of videos, I'm doing our ancient Parthian army at the moment. I've got all the figures in, uh, cleaned them all up, primed them. So uh, now the fun bit starts. Um, yeah, so we've been doing that for the last few weeks. Sorry, I haven't. Um, put up any sort of progress videos along the way I just didn't get to it to be honest um, and yeah I've been a bit quiet on the discord server of late as well um, it's, it's got very busy on there recently there's a lot of people a um, lot of great chat going on but I just I can't keep up with it to be honest <laughs> yeah yeah I'll, 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 I'll log in at the end of the day and just see what's going on I don't sort of um, I'll try and concentrate when I'm working I don't sort of flit in and out of discord and things like that and then I'll come back to it at the end of the day and so much has happened I'm kind of out the loop so uh, yeah I've not been saying a lot on there but uh, you know it's great to see everyone on there and having good fun and uh, yeah all good stuff um, but yeah I am still doing the challenges so sorry for the lack of progress updates but uh, yeah just, just, just been busy to be honest, but I've been, uh, I've been uh, following, following everyone else's videos. There's some great stuff going on, and this is my, uh, my entry for this month. A little bit late, uh, but for me, um, I tend to tend to be one of the first the last couple of months. That's just by luck rather than uh, not something to I, I'm normally known for to be honest. But uh, that's just the way it worked out. But yeah, uh, this month we're a little bit later on. But um, this is uh, this is what we've done so far: Parthian um, horse archers. Um, these were most of the ones I bought are from Aventine, but these are actually from A and A miniatures. Can't remember what A and A stands for now. Um, I think it's Latin, but um, if you search up A and A miniatures on the internet, you find the site easily enough. And they're they're, they're really nice figures actually. The Aventine ones were the ones I was really really interested in, but I bought a few of these for variety. They seem to fit in quite well scale wise. So uh, yeah, nice nice little addition. Um, can't remember why I did them first, but uh, yeah, it'll be Aventine. Uh, from here on in I think but yeah very nice figures very happy with them um, good fun to paint as well because uh, this particular army because there's just so much variety it seems to be uh, as far as colours and combinations go you can pretty much go where you like um, you see lots of pictures where they're where they're very very bright I tend to try and dull things down a little bit I think if, if an army's out on campaign they might have started with uh, very bright coloured gear but um, by the time they've been on campaign for a few weeks, uh, I'd imagine there'll be a lot of dust and things will be a little bit muted. So that's 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 what I've tried to go for. Um, yeah, they they definitely were colourful to start with, but um, yeah, so I've dulled them down a little bit to to try and replicate that they've been out in the out in the field for a while. But yeah, no, nice figures. Enjoyed doing them. Um, the other dilemma with them was really the um, the basing side of things. Uh, I play mainly to the strongest with the ancients, which is great actually, because you can have um, you don't have casualty removal, and a, a, you know a, a, a unit has a footprint roughly, and um, whatever's on there is a unit, so you can you haven't got to have a set number of figures or anything like that. So you can so you can have some fun with the bases, and make a little bit of a diorama if you want to. Excuse me, frog in my throat, and um, yeah, so you can have a, have a bit of fun with it. But also with Infamy, Infamy coming out, I'm also thinking somewhere down the line I might want to be playing that. I might use these for that at some stage if they uh, if, if they write them into the game. Um, so I wanted the option of them single based as well. Uh, I'll put some stills up at the end so you can see the figures a bit more closely. But um, yeah, th this, this is what I come up with the basing. I've got them based like this so I can use them for say, anything with casualty removal. Um, now this this would be perfect for sort of infamy or a similar game, but uh, what I've done for to the strongest is this. Yeah, I made up these sort of multi bases which they slot into. Um, so I made four to a base which would be perfect for a unit for to the strongest. Quite a snug fit actually, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that was that was the idea. So I've tried to set them up so there's a little bit of a circle thing going on as well uh, which is kind of uh, how they would have how they would have fought um, far enough to that side I believe so uh, yeah let's, let's say riding in from riding in from this side doing a little bit of a run along the front of the unit firing off the enemy firing off a few arrows and then heading off that way in that direction 
that's really the plan um so yeah give give a little bit of a feel for how they would have thought as well i know uh, obviously that in reality there been far more than four figures but or four men but um for the game uh tend to sometimes play with sort of six inch squares so i need to be aware of that and this is this is six inches and that was the right number of figures i think to get on that base to get the feel i wanted anything else it would have been a bit too crowded i might have been able to get one more on there at a push but it would have made it quite crowded um the way i made the base was um actually i, I stuck a few bases together actually and just 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 this one as a trial i might ask i might try and get some specific bits of mdf made up uh but yeah stuck some bases together uh, a bit of cardboard underneath to hold them together and then uh used these things which i managed to pick up from war bases i think they didn't actually offer them on the website but i emailed the guy and asked him and they are they call them washers and um, they, they did round ones and that's why i asked if they could do the pill ones to go with the cavalry uh, and they just literally um yeah they're very thin mdf you, you you break them quite easily but um yeah you can obviously put them down where you want to and then these things slot inside is the idea so if you stick four of those on a bit of mdf in the position you want and then some filler and basic material around it and you can come up with with something like that it's a little bit too dark actually i painted it with a dark um this was just one for an experiment i painted it with a dark brown underneath and i think underneath the sand and i think that's sort of showing through so it's a bit darker than i want it to be actually but um so this is just one for experiment i'll do uh, i'll do a lot more and i won't do the uh, i won't do the uh, the paint underneath quite so dark so they should uh, should look a lot better and fit the bases of the figures much much more uh, much more neatly but yeah that was that was what we came up with that uh, for that so uh, yeah I'm quite pleased with that let me know what you think but uh, I thought that was quite quite effective I'll chuck a few more back up for the minute um as i say yeah i'll put some stills up at the end as well so you can see things a bit close because there's a lot of uh, a lot of figures there uh but yeah that's that's what we've been doing so that's the entry for the month there's a couple of other videos i've missed as well that i've not uh, not picked up on um the particular one was the the i'm a greedy war gamer video um I didn't do a specific response. I did. I did give it some thought, and it was again there was some interesting stuff uh, came out of it. Um, I think um, I was just watching uh, Lee Hughes' latest video actually, and entirely agree with him. Um, yeah, English Civil War is the period I want to do, um, but I haven't done yet. Uh, it's definitely something I'll do one day, um, but I just uh, I don't want to rush into it. I want to do it um, when I can do it justice, really, um, and do it do it properly. Uh, I think if I was going to do it, I'd be quite tempted actually to go um, give it um, a little bit of a Scottish feel. I quite like um, the idea of um, going on to Scotland quite a lot, and it's a place I really, love, really like to be and to, to spend time. Um, so I'd quite like to do, uh, say, have some sort of uh, Highlanders, Highland clans running around, and some Covenanters, uh, and maybe do it that way. Something a little bit different. Um, you can always end up fighting against. Uh, fighting against British armies if you want to. I think some Scots did come down and join in and you could always have um, at opposite times if British armies went up there to try and suppress things. So, uh, yeah, it would work for some decent games. A friend's got a load of royalists um, and nagging, constantly nagging me to, uh, to, to to get some parliamentarians to fight him. But, um, yeah, I think I'd probably end up doing the Scots. It's still when we could have a game, but uh, just just, just uh, something I'd be more interested in, I think. Uh, say a little bit unusual, a little bit different. Uh, that would suit me better um the other thing he was asking was what would life be like without the hobby um yeah that's a strange question that one i think um nine months ago uh, i'd have probably given you a different answer to what i'll give you now uh nine months ago um i had lots of hobbies and lots of interests and did lots of different things when i watched a lot of sport a lot of music a lot of live music did uh, a lot of socializing with friends um so yeah the hobby was was great and it was a, an additional bonus but it was um you know it was just one of many things i did so uh, if i wasn't doing this i would have just been doing the other things a little bit more um, i mean i only came back into the hobby four or five years ago to be honest so um yeah i, I would have just carried on as i was before i'm sure which was which was fine but um f then you look at the last six months and everything i enjoy doing is basically off limits now so <laughs> The hobby's uh, huge. Uh, there's not a lot else to do, to be honest. So, um, yeah, it's been great from that point of view. It uh, really is a, a real lifeline. Uh, if I didn't have this, um, I'd just be sat vegetating in front of the telly, which is uh, all well and good, but um, 
it can get a bit boring quite quick so this 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 has been great the last few months really really uh really really learned to appreciate it even more than i did before so uh, yeah that's the answer to that i think there was a third question but i can't remember what that was but they were the uh, they were the main two things um yeah other than that i think not a lot to say really that's the update i've covered the uh cover off around robin um so we'll put some stills up at the end but um yeah that's where we are uh, more and more more and more parthians to uh, to come probably got best part of 100 figures well maybe a little bit more than that about probably about 90 cavalry and about 20 or 30 infantry to do so um, yeah, it's going to be busy what i have been doing the last couple of weeks as well is uh, cataphract horses these are adam time i won't put them all up i've done 20 in the last week or so um I've got the, the riders mounted set, mounted up separately on a, some bottle tops and cocktail sticks and I'll paint those next but I just thought while I'm at it I'll just get the horses done as a huge batch. So uh, there's 20 of those so the next thing is to do the riders and the next update will probably be them when they're all uh, when they're all put together. Um, <laughs> hopefully the uh, the challenge for next month will involve, um, will involve heavy cavalry or cavalry of some sort or might be tanks perhaps and I can, uh, I can probably... Uh, wangle uh, wangle cataphracts in as ancient tanks i'll come up with something but yeah um so that's that's the update all going well um enjoying everyone's videos as always um enjoying uh, watching what you can what you're doing some great some great stuff going on inside and outside of the challenges it's all good um thanks for watching commenting everything else um i've been waffling on for a while now so uh, i'll leave you to your, your your day or your evening whatever it is and um look after yourselves all the best and uh, speak to you again soon take care